So in today's video, we're going to go ahead and focus on how to make five secret weapon variants within Call of Duty Modern Warfare. And if for whatever reason you think there's one that I missed, feel free to comment that down below so that I can include that in a future video. So in addition to go ahead and showing those five different variants, what I'm also going to do is make sure that you guys know how to save these variants so you never have to look up this particular set of attachments to get these particular variants again. So just a quick reminder, if you do enjoy the video or find it helpful in any way, please do me that favor of hitting the like button. And if you'd like to find your way back because you're brand new around here or you haven't currently subscribed go ahead and make sure you hit that red subscribe button with notifications on so the first conversion we'll go ahead and talk about is converting the m4a1 into an m16 when you go ahead and go over to the gunsmith there's only a couple attachments you need to worry about the stock m16 barrel is the first attachment and then for the stock you can go ahead and equip the m16 stock and then for the muzzle you're going to go ahead and equip that flash guard and lastly what you'll have to do is go to the weapon perk section and make the weapon a three round burst. And once you've gone ahead and done that, you're gonna wanna make sure you go ahead and save this particular loadout as a blueprint. And the way you're gonna go ahead and do this is on the top left, you can see it says save as a custom mod. You're gonna go ahead and click L2 on PlayStation, and then on Xbox and PC, you're gonna have a different option. Once you go ahead and do that, you can go ahead and enter a name for that specific weapon mod. In this particular case, I'm obviously gonna name it the M16. And then you can have multiple versions of this so you never have to actually think about what these attachments are. You can just go ahead and choose this particular one if you feel like running an M16 variant, and then you'll have it there when you select the M4A1. As you can see right there, I have my standard M4 best class setup, and then I have an M16 version. One thing I will point out is that it obviously doesn't look 100% like the M16, and there is a reason for that. There are a lot of blueprints within the game, and currently there is an M16 blueprint called the OG, that you get for reaching max level of 156. So I wonder if the rest of these secret variants that we're gonna see throughout the video will also end up as blueprints. So that focuses on the cosmetic element. Is the class setup even good? That's something I wanna go ahead and let you know. Personally, I think you're better off just using a best class setup for the M4 over actually using this M16 variant because it is a little bit difficult to get one burst kills. You pretty much have to make sure you get headshots because in case you guys didn't know, the M4 is always going to be four or five shots to kill unless you include a headshot. So if you go ahead and get that one burst to the chest, it will not kill the enemy player unless that third bullet manages to hit the head. So definitely something to consider, especially if you're going for that nostalgia. So with that, we'll go ahead and jump into the second variant, which is going to be converting the MP5 into the MP5K. So to make this conversion possible, you're gonna to have to use four of your attachment slots. The first one is going to be the tactical suppressor. So go ahead and equip that. The next one is actually going to be a barrel that is the shorter one. So you're going to go with the FFS mini. And then when it comes to the laser sight, you got to go with the TAC laser. And then the last thing you're going to have to do. And lastly, you're going to have to equip that FTAC collapsible stock. And obviously it only took the four attachments to complete that look. So with that one attachment left over, I highly recommend using the stipple grip just to have that faster ADS since this is definitely a running gun type weapon. Looking at the bottom right, you can see it's an MP5K, so you do have that desired weapon. And overall, I felt like the weapon isn't all that strong just because it is an SMG within this game that currently has a rifle meta, but at these closer ranges, it definitely performs very well. So I could see someone using this in a free-for-all match or once they actually introduce a lot of the smaller maps, that'll allow you to get into actual gunfights instead of just pre-aiming doorways. So overall, I don't think it's very good at this point, but if you're gonna go ahead and utilize it, I highly recommend sticking to closer areas. So with that, we're actually gonna move on to the AK-47, which actually converts into three different variants, two versions of the AK-74U and the RPK. So the first attachment is that 8.1 inch compact barrel, and you can see that significantly shortens up the barrel. Next up is the stock, and we're gonna actually go with that skeleton stock, so it looks a lot like the AK-74U from COD 4 Modern Warfare. And for the final attachment, what we're gonna do is change up the caliber by putting on the 5.45 39 millimeter rounds. So using this version of the weapon was actually a lot of fun, and one of the nice things about this particular class setup is that it only requires you to use three out of the five attachment slots, so that still leaves you with a ton of options, which in my opinion is significantly better than what the MP5 and the M16 allowed us. And the thing that was really nice about this weapon is it basically felt like you were using the MP5, but you had rifle damage, which is incredibly nice to have 
when you're playing this game. The recoil is definitely manageable at those closer ranges, but as your enemy gets a little bit further out, it just gets a little bit more challenging, so that's something to be aware of. So we'll go ahead and switch over to the other version of the AK-74U that has appeared in Black Ops 1, Modern Warfare 3, Black Ops 2, Black Ops 3, so it's appeared in a lot more CODs. And the big difference here is all you gotta do is get rid of that skeleton stock and completely remove the stock as a whole by clicking no stock. And personally, between the two different AK-74Us, I actually prefer the one with the skeleton stock. And the biggest reason for that is because of the recoil. If you guys use them side by side, it's actually very difficult to notice any difference in mobility or ADS speed, but the actual recoil is definitely noticeable. So some be aware of, I would recommend you try them yourself to kind of compare them, but I definitely prefer that skeleton stock over not having to stock at all. And that's gonna bring us to the last secret variation for the AK-47, and that is gonna be converting into an RPK, which is an LMG that was originally in Call of Duty Black Ops. The first attachment is that 23 inch RPK barrel, and then we're gonna go ahead and move on to the field LMG stock. Next up is the iconic bipod, so we're gonna have to go to the under barrel for that and then equip the bipod. Pretty straightforward, first attachment there. Then lastly, we'll have to equip that drum mag, bumping up the ammo capacity to 75 rounds. And overall, I wasn't a fan of this setup, and I think the main reason for that is you're kind of leaning towards the mobility of an LMG, which in my opinion is not a good thing. Still does a lot of damage because it is an AK, but here you go. Hopefully you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, please do me that favor of hitting the like button. And odds are, if you made it to this point in the video, you're already subscribed. But if you're not, go ahead and hit the red subscribe button, turning notifications on by ringing that bell. Appreciate the overwhelming support on the content. Thank you for watching, and as always, have a great day.